Hello and welcome to episode 14 of Zero to Hero. Yes, welcome back to episode 14 of Zero to Hero. I'm Wes and in today's episode we'll be taking on Alfreton and Ashton United in the Vanarama National League North. Now since you were last with me, we've had some good form so far this season. We've only lost one match in our first few matches here and we've drawn one. All the rest of them we have won. You last saw us in our first game of the season against Bishop Stortford where we won 4-2 at home. Fantastic start to the season for us. We then followed that up with another 4-2 win, this time away from home against Stockport. Goals from Lewis Robles, Nathan Sharon, Oliver Finney and Jason Gilchrist. Yes, he actually managed to score in his first uh, his first goal of the season in that, uh, that game. Fantastic game. We all played very, very well. We then unfortunately lost the next game 2-1 at home to Southport. Goal from Marcus Wood couldn't quite get us back on track. He uh, only halved the deficit at, on 89 minutes. A bit too late then to uh, push for that equaliser. We then followed that up with a 5-1 thrashing of Altringer away from home. Charlie Walford with a, scoring a penalty in the sixth minute got us off to a great start. Another goal from Lewis Robles, another one from Marcus Wood. Goals from also Lewis Knight and Wes McDonald rounding off the game nicely for us. We then followed that up with a one all draw at home to Solihull Moors. Goal from Jack Blackford got us off to a good start, but then unfortunately in the 74th minute, Solihull managed to get an equaliser and we couldn't quite push on for the winner. Bit of an average game in terms of the ratings, as you can see. Even Charlie Walford, who scored the penalty, didn't have a, an amazing game, only a 6.7. We then followed that up with a 3-2 win in our last game against Kidderminster, away from home. Lewis Knight with another goal, and Wes McDonald, and again, Lewis Robles with a 90th minute winner there. We was at 2 all and last minute, Robles managed to put away the winner for us. So that leaves us sitting in third place in the Vanarama National League North, which is fantastic at this point in the season. Six games in, and we're in the playoffs. We're only five points behind Kings Lynn in first place. They haven't lost a game yet, so they're going to be a force to be reckoned with this season. Southport just above us as well. Only we're only four, sorry, we're only two points behind them and five points behind Kings Lynn. So if Kings Lynn carry on that form, we're not going to be able to catch them. So winning the league might not be a possibility, but we can at least finish in the playoffs. Like I say, the board only want a top half finish, but the media do predict us to finish fourth. We're level on points with Stockport just below us, but we have a superior goal difference. We've got a plus eight goal difference. Only The only team to have a better goal difference than us is Kings Lynn in first, so we're doing really well. I don't think there's been any more transfer news to tell you about. I'll just double check. No, no more transfer news to tell you about just yet. I think we're, I'm happy with the squad I've got. Um, I'm... Maybe looking at bringing in another another striker. I mean, we do have uh, four strikers who have been playing for us so far this season, but I, I think we could probably do with. But we we'll, we shall see how things pan out through the rest of the season. At the moment, Lewis Robles is our top goal scorer on four goals from six games. Been really good for us this season, justifying the decision to sign him on a permanent basis. Lewis Knight, although he he's leading the way on average rating, he's been absolutely fantastic for us since he came into the side at the beginning of the season. I think we're looking at our first choice right in Lewis Knight. Hopefully he can stay fit for the rest of the season. So we'll get on to our uh, first match of the day against Alfreton. And we're playing at home. It's a familiar looking side. We've tried not to uh, to disrupt the team that uh, the team that's winning at the moment because we want them to keep winning. So we've gone with a starting eleven of Richards in goal, Walford, Sharon, Dean, and Edwards at the back. A midfield of Pozo and Wood, Blackford and Knight on the wings, and Red and Robles up front. We've brought in Red because uh, Gilchrist is out injured at the moment. He's out for between eleven days and five weeks with sprained knee ligaments. Unfortunately, Gomez has picked up an injury as well. He's out for eight weeks to three months, so we won't be seeing him much this season. It's a shame, really. Our £6,000 midfielder, he's he's out for a while, and I think that could be 
by the time he comes back, I don't think there'll be a place for him in the squad. So we may look to uh, send him out on loan. But we we because we've got George Withy still, we've also got Oliver Oliver Finney. Yeah, excuse me, Oliver Finney, who has been playing well for us so far. But I'm preferring Marcus Wood at the minute because he's been scoring a few goals, even though he's playing as a ball-winning midfielder. Partnering Pozo, uh, best midfielder at the moment. Still playing on an attacking mentality with structured team shape. Same team instructions as before. And we've got Kay, Birch, McDonald, McNeil and Finney on the bench. Now, with McDonald scoring a few goals, I was tempted to play him ahead of Red this season, uh, this in this game because he has scored in the last couple of ma uh, games. But I... I think he, he's better as a substitute. He scores when he comes off the bench usually. And I think against Alfreton, we, we need someone like Red up there as a target man, a target man to feed Robles at every opportunity. I just realised while I was playing off uh, the games behind the scenes, I switched to uh, 3D. So I'm just going to switch that back to the 2D. Just so it's a bit more uh, fluid for you. First time out of the game, Wolford to Blackford, up to Robles. Can Robles find the cross? He doesn't, he plays it back to Pozo, to Wood. Tries to play it forward but can't find anybody. Dean winning the header from the clearance. Wood to Knight, to Red, and he can't, well, he can't quite find Red. Dean winning the ball again, he's been fantastic for us at the back this season. Pozo loses out in midfield and looks like they're going to break on us now. Big ball over the top from them and a good save from Richards. It was straight at him, really. We're playing a little bit slowly. I think I may have dropped the uh, speed down slightly when I was playing on 3D because it was a bit too fast. Ashton United, who we're playing next, are currently 1-0 up against Boston away from home. And they're currently sat... Oh, um, we'll have a look when we come back to between the next highlights. And we're 1-0 down. It's not a good start. 17 minutes in. It's not the start we wanted. We've defended quite well this season, despite the fact we've conceded quite a few goals. Because we play on attacking, we, we're always bound to uh, concede a few. But as long as we can outscore the opposition, we'd, we'll, be, we'll be fine. As I was saying, Ashton United are currently in 18th place. Alfreton down in 14th, as things stand. And if it stays as it is, we'll drop down to sixth place. Kings Lynn have just gone 1-0 up in their game, so they'll be still top of the table. Sharon winning the ball back in defence, plays it out to Robles. He plays it to Pozo, to Wood. Plays it forward to Rick. Can't find Red. I mean, I'm not sure whether it's, the, it's him not finding the best positions or whether it's the passing that's the issue because he, he's not winning any balls in the air and he's a target man. He should be, really. Edwards cutting out that pass brilliantly. Yeah, he's not he's not having well, he's on a bit of an average. Six point six. Robles not having the best of games so far. I've not really seen him do anything. And I don't know why Marcus Wood's looking nervous. He's been he's been fantastic in the last few games. Surely that should have settled his nerves. He's only young, but still. It's not it's not as if he's playing in the Premier League. It looks like we're going in at half time, one nil down. Not a good start. We need to get out second half and uh, take the game to them and get an early goal, an early equaliser second half. But we lose the ball really quickly from the kickoff. It's a lofty pass. But Sharon winning the ball back. Plays it back to Richards. And that's the end of the highlight. We need to be having a better game than this. Edwards with the throw in to Red. To Pozo, up to Robles. To Knight, through to Blackford. Can he score? Straight at the keeper, but Reds managed to put the goal, put the ball in the goal from the rebound, and that's our equaliser. Fifty minutes in, Blackford really should have done better with that, but Red had a shot which forced us another save out the keeper and just slotted it away from the rebound to uh, get his first goal of the season. That's good. We need to come back from this now. What the hell was that? What was Richards doing there? He came out to it and just ran away from it like he was scared of the ball. Ridiculous. We've got a corner now. Wolford with the corner. They've headed it out. Knight plays it to Blackford and he blazes it over. And 56 minutes in. We've had seven shots, four on target. 
and we've had the we're just edging possession slightly Wood with the ball now to Walford plays it forward to Red who knocks it down for Pozo to Robles and just over again 65 minutes in and we're still not having that breakthrough for the uh, for the winning goal Richards plays the ball up to Red who can't find him Dean keeps the ball in he should have just let it go because now we're 2-1 down he just kept the ball in play and he shouldn't have done it. He should have just let it go out. Silly, silly defending. That would have just gone out, rolled out for a, a goal kick. But instead he, he kept it in and just left it for their player to square it. And we're 2-1 down. Shocking, shocking defending. I think it's about time we made some changes. Dean's coming off that mistake. He... he it's cost us. We're 2-1 down now, so he's coming off. Robles having a terrible game as well. Uh, Robles is having a terrible game, so we're going to take him off and bring on Wes McDonald. We're going to play him as an advanced forward on attack. See if he can get a goal for us. 70 minutes in, we really need to be pushing forward for this equaliser. Even if we do lose, it's only our second loss of the season, but not the way I wanted to start today's episode. Lewis Knight and I having a good game, despite me bigging him up before the match. We're going to have another substitution now, and I think Knight's going to be coming off. We're going to bring on McNeil for him. McNeil more of a left winger, but... Uh, I don't think Blackford can play on the right either. So yeah, he's better than he's better than uh, uh, Blackford on the right hand side. So that's where he's going to be playing as a winger on support. Sharon not having a very good game either, or Walford or Edwards. None of our defence having a good game really. A few sloppy, sloppy mistakes that have cost us really. I mean, we've had more shots. They've had more shots on target. We've had more of the possession. We're in stoppage time now, and I don't think we're going to be getting an equaliser. I think that's the last kick of the game now. And I think it's going to be a 2-1 loss to start today's episode. Yeah, that's all over. We've lost 2-1 at home. We seem to be playing better away from home than we do at home, which is concerning, really, because we want to have the... Uh, better performances at home to attract the more people to watch the games which in turn gives us more money but uh, we'll see how things progress hopefully we can better our performances at home we've only got a two, get, two day gap between this game and the Ashton United game they've dropped down to 22nd so they must have lost their match unless it hasn't calculated where they are Based on no, they are twenty second. We've dropped down to fifth. Now only th well, we're only three points behind Stockport. But more concerning is we are level on points with the three teams below us, which means a loss against Ashton United could see us drop out of the playoffs altogether. So hopefully we can pick up a win against them. They are bottom of the table. They did lose two one to Boston, who are one of the teams that we are level on points with. So we really need to pick up a win in that next game. So we'll rejoin you when we're ready for the Ashton United game. Okay, so we're ready for our next match against Ashton United away from home. Now, I was going to rotate a few players around because obviously we've only had a two-day gap. And one of the players that I was going to bring into the side was Wes McDonald. But I just had a message in my inbox. On the day of the game, Wes McDonald has left the club because he was out of contract and had decided to leave the club. I've tried to re-sign him, but he, he won't even discuss a contract with me. So, I know in the last game I was mentioning that I was going to be looking for another striker. I think now it's imperative, because the only strikers we've got are Matt Red, uh, Red Lewis Robles and Gilchrist, Jason Gilchrist. But he's out injured. So we do not have a backup striker at the moment. Lewis Knight can play as a striker, but he's better as a winger, and I'd rather keep him out on the wing where he's playing well. So, yeah, an, another striker is is a must now, because none of my under-18s are worth promoting up to the first team, even for just one or two matches. 
I'd rather just look for another striker at this point in time. So we're naming an unchanged squad because from the looks of things, they're all pretty fit in terms of their conditioning and match fitness, apart from Matt Red, who's only on 90%, but he's a bit older, so he does find it hard to get fitness back again. So it's an unchanged squad from the match before. The only difference is Dawson now comes onto the bench in place of... Wes McDonald. Hopefully we can get a better result in this game than what we did against Alfreton. To be fair, we should, because Ashton are one of the teams that came up from the unplayable leagues last season. So they, uh, and they're rock bottom of the league, so we should be beating them. But you got to remember last season when I took control of FC United we were rock bottom of the league and we managed to beat some of the teams higher up the table than us and managed to save ourselves from relegation so you know it, these things are not unheard of they they managed to get in that position for a reason Robles threw on goal and forced to save out of their keeper that's a good start we need to have some more attacking threat like that because Robles had an awful game last time out. The only reason he's still in the squad at the moment is because McDonald left. Because I was going to drop him down to the bench and, and start McDonald. Because he was complaining about first team football. And I thought, well, what better way to to appease his uh, want for first team football than to put him in the first team in the next game. But then he just he spat his dummy out and left. To be honest, he, I wasn't sure on whether to keep him during the uh, summer. It was only because we couldn't really find anybody else better. But Rob Les has just put us 1-0 up. 41 minutes in, an assist from Matt Red, our target man. Good, good cross in from Blackford. And it was just nodded down onto the foot of Rob Les and a great finish from inside the box. His fifth goal of the season. He's doing well. If he can keep this up, he will be our top goal scorer this season. He should, if he can keep this scoring record up, he should get thirty goals for us this season. I can't see why he wouldn't. So we're starting the second half one nil up. That will move, move us up to third place, three points behind Stockport. Wolford with the corner. And we've won a penalty, I believe. And Wolford's going to be taking the penalty. He's scored one already for us this season. Can he score another? He has. That's 2-0. 48 minutes in. It's his second goal of the season. A good penalty. Confident penalty. Keeper wasn't getting to that anytime soon. And it looks like we're having a much better performance than what we had last time out. Lewis Knight not having the best of games so far. That's two games in a row he's not had a very good game and well, he's just shot up to a 6.7 from a 6.4 so he's obviously done something right. Walford with the ball forward to nobody. Their goalkeeper, I thought he would, he just took it outside the box there for some reason. Pozo wins the ball back through to Robles. Can he score again? He forces a save out of their keeper and wins us the corner. Walford to take the corner. Can't find anybody but he finds Knight as the, it gets the rebound and that ends the highlight. He should have had a shot from there, really. I would have done. And we're defending. And was it a save from Richards? I think it was. Defending a corner this time. We need to get stop these crosses from coming in. Good save from Richards. 66 minutes in, we're still 2-0 up. Wolford with a free kick. And is he? we've just got another penalty. So is Wolford taking this one as well? Is he going to score again? He has, and that's 3-0. Two for Walford on the day. Two penalties. His third of the season. And again, exactly the same place. Exactly the same result. That's why we have him on penalties. He's a very good penalty taker. And we're 71 minutes in. And once this highlight is finished, I'm going to make some changes. Big ball up to Robles. He's come away with the ball. Cross it. Tried to find... Have we got another penalty? And is Wolford going to have a chance for his hat-trick? He's sprinting over for the ball. Is it going to be an unlikely hat-trick for our left-back, Wolford? Oh, he's missed that one. I can't believe he had a chance for his hat-trick and he's missed it. Oh, he must be gutted. And Ashton are down to 10 men, I forgot to mention. They're 
player was uh, sent off for the uh, penalty decision. I'm going to make some changes now. Knight is only on a 6.8, whereas everybody else is in the 7 pluses. So I think we're going to bring on Adam Dawson for Lewis Knight. He'll play as a winger on support. Marcus Wood is quite knackered, so we're going to bring on we're going to bring on Oliver Finney for Marcus Wood. We're going to swap Finney and Wood around. Uh, Finney and Pozo around. Pozo is going to play as a deep line playmaker. No, he's not. He's going to play as a Carrillero on support, and Finney plays the attack uh, the advanced playmaker on support. And that'll be it for now. I'm just trying to see the game game out now, really. No point in changing too much. Red's going to have to stay on, despite the fact he's down to nearly 60% conditioning. Because we haven't got any more strikers on. I don't really want to change the formation. Because this is what they're used to at the minute, and they're playing well. I think we're going to give Dwight McNeil a run out at left wing for now. Because he, he doesn't get many games because Blackford plays very, very well. And it's very rare he has to come off. But we might as well get the use out of the low knee. Give him a bit of a run out in a game that we're, we're not going to lose from here. So Pozo with the ball to McNeil. Finds Walford. Finney back to McNeil. Back to Walford. Back to Finney. To Pozo. And he loses out. And now they have a chance to break. But we've got... Still got a few men behind the ball, but they've played it over the top and it was a save from Richards. Trying to keep his clean sheet. And we've defended that well out for another corner. Pozo wins the ball in the area and that's it. It's all over, 3-0. Good result. Shane Walford couldn't get his hat-trick of penalties. Another goal from Robles as well. And uh, Walford with the man of the match unsurprisingly good result and that sees us stay up in the playoffs as well up to fourth behind Boreham Wood Stockport and Kings Lynn Kings Lynn have actually lost a game now who did they lose to they lost to Stockport so it looks like it's going to be down between Stockport and Kings Lynn this season but that means we're only five points off of Kings Lynn who are in first place and we're only three points away from Stockport who are in second so we still have a chance to win the league this season we'll have a look see where we're going to be coming back we've drawn Worcester in the um, FA Cup second qualifying round I'm not going to show you that because it's, only, it's quite soon I think we will, we've got Darlington who are one of our rivals soon. So I think we'll come back for the Darlington game. We've got Kings Lynn there. That could be interesting. i tell you what we'll do. We'll come back for the Kings Lynn game. We'll miss the Gloucester game and then we'll go to the Darlington game. Because then we've got top of the table and one of our local rivals and one of our playoff rivals as well in the same episode. That'll be a good one. So if you like that, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe for more Football Manager 18 content and thank you very much for watching.